G'day. Today, I am smoking some kelp. And there we have it, smoked cow. Now the reason I'm smoking it is to preserve it and also to eat it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out of the smoker here. Uh, some of it's dry but some of it's not. Most of it's still quite rubbery because it's been sitting overnight and slowly smoking away the cold smoker. I'm going to take it out, put it in dehydrator, fully dehydrate it, dry it right out. Then I'm going to grind it up in my mortar and pestle and mix it with uh, the pink Himalayan rock salt and it's going to be bloody delicious. I don't care too much for money Another good use for kelp is it's good for putting on your garden and right here I've got a barrel with kelp and water in it. I gave it a bit of a rinse first in my outside bathtub there to, or a soak actually to soak all the salt water off. Chucked it in that barrel, I just gotta wait till it gets all manky and rotten and then what I'm gonna do is mix it with those bloody dogs been digging up my fish heads. Where was I? Oh yeah, mixed it with uh with a water solution of 1 to 10 or whatever depending on how thick it is and then put it in this barrel I've got and water my garden with it and um, I also just chuck it straight on the garden as you can see it's really good fertiliser, lots of trace elements and minerals oops I just squashed the uh, onions and some miners lettuce coming up here really good good lettuce that stuff miner's lettuce it's called you just plant it and then once you've planted it she's there always comes up in the late winter early spring really good source of healthy greens get out of it dog bloody annoying mongrels um, bucket lid I've got an inlet pipe and then an outlet pipe with a hose on it with a cap on it there and the reason I made this is because when that solution of seaweed and comfrey whatever I, else I chuck in the mixture has got all manky and disgusting I'm gonna dilute it in this big barrel plug the hose into the top and then this bottom hose will come out and go to the sprinkler in the greenhouse and that way we'll just be able to turn the sprinkler on and give the plants a, uh, a nice nutrient rich feed liquid fertilizer it's gonna work sweet hopefully I haven't actually tried it yet I reckon it'll work